<laughs> Good day, everybody. Oh, I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Ah, uh, this is BRD Non, and I'm back with... This one is going to be the proper Ponza Loki guide. The last one could have been better, so this is just kind of a redo of the last one. Just uh, just in case, you know? Okay, so um, the first thing that we, I want to mention is the every um, round of Ponza Loki, like every time Ponza Loki shows up, there's like three different sessions a month or something, and it's you and it's split between the ranges, uh, kind of. Like there's right now we're on range one. Um, there's two range. There's physical and there's magical, and it shifts between those each time it comes back. Uh, currently. My high score is 12,207, which is not bad. Uh, how you fight in Ponzaloki is you use your brigades. And um, I'll show you something in a moment here. Um, yeah. Let's go. I already got all the rewards, so I don't lose anything. Because I'm on my tablet right now and on my phone and blah, 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 blah. You guys don't really care about that, I know. Anyway, um, yeah, so... These are all the different combos you can get. The maximum uh, combo count is 28. Uh, you need four different colors of the options with four different colors. You need one of each in order to get the weapon type combo. Uh, there's a move type pair, which you don't bother about the last one, this guy here. Don't, don't even... Don't care about it. Just aim for the three pairs. Because if you get the fourth, for some reason, if you manage to magically, and I've actually done this not just earlier today, get all uh, get four pairs of movement types, then um, you get nothing out of it. Which is kind of stupid. I think you should get like a super bonus or something. Like you should get something for going through the effort to get it. But no, you get nothing. It's it's dumb. Move type mix. So you in order to get the maximum combos, you want... One of each color of, let's say, what I'm doing right now is dragons and beasts. So, one of each beast color, one of each dragon color. You want one of each movement type and three pairs of movement types to get your max combos. I'll do one round of just trial and error. So, in order to actually power up these units, you need combos and you need... Um, what is it? What is it? What's the word I'm thinking of? Give me a minute. Um, and you need merges. And in order to do merges, you need to have three units, three of the same unit. And then you, when you, once you pull and get the third, they merge into one. The level goes up by ten. The uh, levels of all other units goes up by two. Like the ones that you're not merging. And um, yeah, it buffs up your stats and all that fun stuff, so. I need a blue dragon and I need a different colored beast. Well, there's colorless beast. And it's Selkie! I hate her voice line so much. <laughs> oh, that's okay, though. That's okay. We can't expect all voice lines to be good, am I right? So as you can see right now, my combo counts 22, which is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad for turn three. I think um one time I had uh, max combos on, like, turn four, which is really impressive. Now, if only my units actually didn't suck, that would have been better. But, you know, it happens. <laughs> You'll see the merging mechanic in a minute here. Ooh, I got a blue dragon. Okay. And what color beast am I missing? I'm missing a green beast? Yeah, I'm missing a green. Oh, there's a green beast right there. So I'll have my maximum combo count. Let's go. Done. 28 combo, turn four. And now I can just start merging. Uh, you'll go there. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see. You go there. Uh, Selkie can destroy him and eat the damage from her. Uh, Dragon beat you and uh, beats that. Okay, let's go. Nope. I misclicked. <laughs> it happens. So I'm gonna like carry this round. Basically, like, I don't have to really think too hard about it. And I'm on max difficulty, I think. I'm just schooling it this time, which is nice. I might actually get my, a new high score on camera again. It's not very often I do that. So, yeah, uh, these little blue things here is how you, is what you use when you summon units. So, it's gonna go down to seven. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, just keep going, shall we? I'm gonna take that mulligan. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So I can merge. See how there's one already on the field, one on the right? So when I move the one from down below in, everyone else's level goes up by... Everyone else's level goes up by 2, and his goes up by 10. So now he's 20, level 25. So he's got the, like, first level of um, the skills. For a second, I can't remember how that exactly works, but you'll 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 see in a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, I see double axes. Uh, she'll tank all the damage from these guys. Mm, you go here. You go there. Okay, let's go. I think this will do. I still can't believe I got max combo on turn four. <laughs> I did it again. Yeah, I'm on turn five now, and yep, there's a uh, duo I done. Literally just constantly healing itself. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is how you school Ponza Loki. Um. Oh, Fe one. Mulligan. Okay. I'm actually down in HP, but I'm way ahead on combos, so... It doesn't even matter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, let's go. I still have more HP. See, essentially how this game mode works is if you have more HP, you win. Typically. If you have more combos, more HP than your opponent, you just instantly win the entire match. Done. Mulligan. Huh. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll take Freya. Okay, um, I guess uh, Silky. I really want Nagi, but I'm not going to get her, apparently. Not today. So, let's see. I have more HP and I have more combos, so I just win. Just based on that alone. I think I should just auto win this one pretty much. Yeah, I still have more HP. And because HP is the most important stat in this game mode. Um 
Skills like um, push or fury are typically not the best. The only time I would, I would say that the push skills can be used is if you have Mystic Boost Seal or Mystic Boost in the B slot. Either or. Because then you're just regaining the HP that you lose, so you lose nothing actually, which is nice. That's the goal. You want to lose literally nothing. Uh, I'll put Nesala here. Mulligan. Uh, Duel I done. Lady Freya. There's Nagi. Sorry, Duo Adun. Actually, no, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna scrap Nisala. Um. Yeah. There we go. Now I got the A team at maximum power. Pretty much. Oh, wow. These, the enemies are really, really high in HP, though. Holy crap. But most of them are axe users. Axe, 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 axe. Sword, sword, two lance. Come at me. I think this will work. Well, when we find out, let's go. Ooh, I barely have more HP. Okay, I'm still winning. That's good. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 24, 36, 12,100. I could be getting a new high score. We'll see. Okay. Oh boy, am I hecka outmatched right now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I've got more HP. But look at Arden, 99 HP. And I still one-shot the guy. <laughs> mm, well, it sucks to be him. Mm, nope, sorry. You're not taking me down. Okay, that was a bad round. I might not be able to get my high uh, score now, but... It happens. Hmm. This ought to work. 390. Yeah, I'm above in all scoring, so I think I just win at this point. I think I just win. Just in case I lose that, though, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go. Okay, this will work. Let's go. So, another really good set of skills in this game mode is the save skills, just because they screw over Legendary or Brave Edelgard. Take your pick. Both. They realistically screw over both, which is nice. Eh. Mulligan? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's 
See, the only reason why they have such a big HP advantage is because they got dual ar double Ardens. Which is annoying, but I could get around that. They're not particularly strong, they're just annoying and obnoxious. Basically all that is. There you go. But I have a way higher combo count, so let's see. Yeah, they're barely ahead. Oh, I think I just got a new high score. I think I beat my high score by like 14 points or something. Yeah! Okay, so that is Ponza Loki in a nutshell. Um, the best things for that I find to use are beasts, dragons, tomes, and bows. I typically to tend to not stray past that just in case. Um... Yeah, uh, do you guys like this game mode at all? Uh, if you do, let me know why. If you don't, let me know why you don't. I'm, I'm curious. This is my favorite game mode. Um, so yeah, as a quick recap. Dragons, beasts, bows, tomes. Uh, try to get three pairs. Don't care about getting four. Um, the last thing I could really tell you guys is walk into this game mode with an eight with an A-team in mind. Like, it doesn't matter which, um... Here, I'm gonna just show you guys with this. So, for this, I don't really have an A-team because this apparently just does really well by itself, but like for, um, teams like... The Tomes and Dragons, I want Duo I Dun, I want Harmonized Tiki, I want Nagi, I want Fallen Corin. I want a Versa, Reinhardt, Merrick, and Zane. Those are the units that I want most. That's my A team. I always try to have an A team in mind, but also try to have try to make sure that if you can't get your A team, you get uh, units other units that have the exact same um, skill sets. Like if you're for um, the Blue Tomes, if I don't get a Cavalry unit. I'll get a cavalry unit. If I don't get a flyer, I'll get a flyer. If I don't get a, an infantry, I'll get an infantry. So try to keep that set up in mind when you do this because it's going to help you a lot. I always make sure that if you have, if you're going to do a reinforce, like a, a backup unit just in case you can't get the first one, have them be the exact same uh, movement type for the most part. That's what I try to do and it works wonders really. But uh, I also try to have I also try to have one um, unit in particular, like one um, like look at my dragons. I got an infantry, an armor, and a flyer for colorless dragons. Why? Variety. A little bit of variety doesn't uh, hurt. So then, if I can't get one thing, I can get the others. I can get something different because typically this game gives you a little bit of leeway. So. Yep, that's all I really got to say about this game mode. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, this is the B-Rated Dawn signing off. See you, everybody.